my name is Julian Maroon and I am an undercover geek. I am lucky enough to be an actor. I get to play different characters um, and I get to be a part of a process and a world that was at one point in time only accessible to me, you know, through film and through through TV, through watching, through watching. Whereas now I get to actually be a part of that process. Oh, this is Adam. Hey. Hey. Now uh, look, I gotta go shower, but um, you know, we'll we'll talk. Oh yeah, I guess, yeah, you know, catch you later, mate. Yeah, see you, champ. What'd you call me? What? You heard? Ah, uh, you can't say that word, mate. What? No, it's just not a good word. Yeah, okay, sorry. Mister in between for sure. Home and away. Romba Stomper on Stan. Recently, Transfusion on Stan. Fighting Season on Foxtel. You may know me from Aftertaste on the ABC. Uh, and there's been lots of like, you know, SBS series and, and there was Diary of an Uber Driver on ABC. I'm sure a lot of people watched that um, with Sam Cotton. Mostly me being a not very nice person. When did this stuff become as pivotal as it is in my life? There was a moment where I was about four or five years old and my sister was quite ill. She had a massive tumor on her spine and we didn't know it was gonna happen. So we spent a hell of a lot of time in the hospital. And I remember I walked into the starlight room at the children's hospital. And in that moment, like the lights and the sounds of the games and the colors just took all of that fear away and it took all of the pain away and I remember I held a Nintendo 64 controller whilst I couldn't control all the things that were going on in my life all of a sudden I could play around and control this little character and I could jump and I could flip and I could you know get all the power stars and all those fun things and I was quite young at the time so I, I think that was when I first found the world and then it would be like the years after that you know with Pokemon with Dragon Ball Z, like Spider-Man was, was quite important to me. I really related to the character as my brother Luke now does. So Luke is my younger brother. He is four years younger than me. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of hard to explain because most people see us and we don't aesthetically look that similar. You know, he's, uh, He's very light, you know, light colored hair, light colored eyes and, and everything like that. And I'm, you know, this kind of dark, apparently brooding Middle Eastern man. When people see us out, him and I with my fiance Elise, they, they often think he's related to her because I have such a beautiful relationship. But Luke and I have been, you know, best friends from as early as I can imagine. You know, while I always took a kind of carer role towards him, it wasn't really anything that ever felt obligatory as much as it just felt like this is the person that I care about the most. You know, I just want us to be able to have fun and I want us to find ways to communicate with each other because, you know, with his Down syndrome and cerebral palsy, it, it can be at times difficult to communicate or to articulate certain things. But one thing that we always really resonated and bonded over was our love of these otherwise escapist properties, you know, like these things that we could just engage in together. Just now we were watching wrestling, you know, on the way, on the way in, how we have had the benefit of exploring the things that we love as adults now. You know, when, when we're out, you know, we're not living at home anymore and, you know, we, we get to come together and, and just feel that, that really fun experience of sitting on our couch at home. We would be able to watch these kind of good versus evil stories um, where, you know, where good triumphs or where it's larger than life characters and, and we'd be able to just, to really live vicariously through them. So, you know, it's been really cool being able to speak to you today about this stuff because for so long it's just what Luke and I do, like it's synonymous with when we hang out. Now we're actually speaking about it, um, surrounded by gangs. you got to help Luke, you got to help. Hurry up, come in, come in, come in. Probably one of the best parts about what I've been able to build in terms of profile is how I can incorporate Luke, how we can go and be at red carpets and how we can, you know, see on the day it comes out the new Dragon Ball film. Or to go and meet, a, you know, WWE superstars. 
when they come here. It's like, it, that stuff is not lost on me. It's so cool that I get to do it. That's one part. It's so cool that I get to do it with Luke. That, we, that we're afforded these opportunities to come in and, and meet people and, and, and hey, welcome, Luke. You just walked into shot. It's so cool that we get to, um, that we get to do this, you know? Uh, it, it's still, that, that's the dream for me. That's always been the dream. And now we get to do it, like, regularly. Other than taking Luke to Disneyland, which is one thing that I'm gonna do, I would absolutely love to one day be involved in professional wrestling in some capacity whether it's WWE, whatever it is, I would love to be involved in it and to have Luke come with me and for us to be able to interact with or have some sort of story. I don't know how and I don't know where and I don't know when, but I can tell you that it would be the absolute greatest pleasure of my life to do something like that. And to do it with Luke, I can just think of the journey right now, it's so exciting. That is the one thing that I'd want to say, and that for anyone watching this who's going to follow the journey of both of us, you know, you're being introduced to us now, that's something that you're going to see down the road in some way or another. So, stay tuned.